that like button, share and subscribe. Remember, eagles rise with eagles. All right now, hit the like button, share and subscribe. This is Arthur Oma, and remember, eagles fly with eagles. So yeah, they got a big old sign out here, y'all, saying shows. Okay. I'm going up in here. It's got shows. Yeah. They doing something back up in here. Yeah. out here, but it's, I'm not on their property. I'm not on their property. I'm over here. They got shops up here, but what they doing, I don't know. They got some kind of construction going on out here. Yeah. Titanic. Oh, yeah. We're not. Yeah, they got they laying the This is Black Titanic. Am I here looking at this? <laughs> Somebody in that. Okay, y'all. Just leaving this site. We got Shokes Industry up here. 8475. Y'all can see that. Industry. Yeah. They're building over there, you guys. But I looked on that. I looked on that permit over there, and it didn't have. It got other people's name on there. It don't have Soap's name on there. But they are building. Somebody is building. Yeah. It, it looks like something is going on over there. It's, it's, it's not at a standstill anymore. You have people building over there on that land. I don't see um uh, I don't see any anybody from Silks over there though. I don't see Marceau over there. But they are building over there. I looked on the permit. Uh I don't see where Shokes has the permit to build. But uh on that trailer there, uh, somebody was in that trailer. It looked like Gino was. <laughs> Gino looked like he was still in that trailer over there, uh, squatting in that trailer. Yep, they are building over there, you guys. They are building. Anyway, this is Black Titanic signing off. Yeah, they got a lot of construction. Yeah, and, and uh, it looks like that same, that company has always been out there. There's a company that was building, uh, uh, when I went out there, that's the same company was farther on down the land, on 
the land mass. It was another company. I guess there was going to be another a spot that they were building. It was a company out there building when I went there, but it went short. So it looks like they have uh, took over the entire land. That's what it looks like because those are the same people. Uh, it's not shows, y'all. It's not shows. Those are the same people that I seen building farther on down on that land. I don't know where the land cut off at, uh, but uh, that it was another construction company, another company on that same land. I did not, uh, I did not film them because I was not interested in them. But I remember them. Now that's those. Looks like that company has taken over. So, uh, I will be investigating you guys. Looks like they got moving out there, but it, they still got Shokes out there. They still got Shokes flag up there, you guys. Yes, they do. Uh, wait, I can't get straight. I'm trying to watch my hand. Now, here's the address, 8475 Planning Commission, a staff report for Fairfield Inn, where a scope's supposed to be building. But uh, date December 2019, reapproval 2017 site plan. Property owner is Eclipse Hospitality, location 8475 Madison Boulevard. Here's this. Uh, this is uh, the site where scopes claim that they have. Okay. This is a request to reapprove and expire site plan for a new Fairfield Inn Suite Hotel. This application is prepared to move forward with building permits and site plan. Okay. Approved for the site for Fairfield Inn. Now let's I'm trying to find something for y'all that I noticed. So moving on down here, you guys. Uh, okay, uh, it's uh here we go again. Fairfield Inn. Property owner Brazen and Property Incorp and Upfront Holding Company. 8475 Madison Boulevard. This is a request for the site plan for 85 room hotel on 2.67 acres. Now, my, my soul had, my soul did not represent himself. He claimed he's this big boss man. Here was his time to show us just what he was uh, really made out of, to, to talk to us about what was his plan for his hotel. This is the kind of stuff we wanna see. But look at what my, the Brazen and Property is saying saying that my soul instead of talking about his building how he was going to build this um this hotel how many rooms there was going to have what about the parking lot what about the wheelchair parking how many rooms how many a uh, bathroom he did not talk about anything related to building and how he was going to build it all he got about was the combat group now, let's say, for instance, this man is a businessman. This is a request for a site plan for an 85-room hotel, 2.67 acres. Now, he laying, he laying the plan out now as to what he would do. Look, my soul said, now that is. My soul, here was your chance to really show us what you was made out of. All you did was gossip about the combat group standing up there in the middle of no man lands. This is a request for a site plan for an 85-room hotel consisting of 45,772 square feet on 2.67 acres. The proposal hotel will consist of four stories with each floor having a total area of 11,443 square feet. The site would include 105 parking spaces in the All Street parking facility and a swimming pool. Access to the site is from an entrance on Madison Boulevard, which is shared with the medical office building constructed in 2020. See y'all, and that's why I had my appointment at, at that medical business. Anyway, you guys, I just want to show y'all that the, 
he lacked any kind of intelligence as a businessman. And he, it was his time to preach, to show the world just what he was made out of. Instead, he talked gossip about the comeback group and said nothing related to his plan, his site plan for that hotel. So, I noticed that out there at that site, we have Fair Fair in site plan. Let's see who is Maso has a site plan up. So click click it on. It's got Eclipse Hospitality again. This is his plan. Now, like I said, they're standing up there on the... So when I click uh, on the Fair Fair in plan, I pull up. Eclipse Hospitality, Fair Fair Inn, project name, Fair Fair Inn and Suites. Then this man is showing what he's going to put in. Finish the floors, benchmark, signs, trees, sanitary sewer, manhole, open throat inlet, sanitary clean out, sanitary sewer line, a gas line. The landscape and light, air conditioning, roof drains, shrubs, overhead electricity, cable TV, gravel, mailbox, brick paint. Now, this man have talked about his plan and the layout for this work. I can bet you Marcel ain't did nothing but copy off of this if Marcel got it. But this is the seal. Since 2017, this man has had this plan. Eclipse Hospitality has been planning to build this con this fair field. I can't find shokes. I can't find shokes. This your Black History Spotlight. This is Granville Wood. Granville Wood actually was the one to really that I knew that was documented, made the first wireless co communication. The wireless communication between boats to boats. The wireless communication be between train to train. The wireless communication to airplane to airplane. Actually, when you all go on the cruise, it was uh, Granville Wood that uh, when you go on the cruise and that communication is going on between uh, people, the um, captains or the operator on the cruise ship. In fact, the Titanic was the first one to be documented that who who had uh, used his equipment because before then, the trains, they didn't have no way of communication and the boats. So uh, the telegraph was uh implemented on the Titanic and that saved a lot of people lives but Glenville Wood had died maybe a few years earlier before the Titanic but they were using his invention anyway all those um white inventors were trying to steal, steal his invention but he was tough he took them to court and won every time Randall T. Woods was one of the most prolific inventors of the 19th century and into the early 20th century. He was born in Columbus in 1856 to three black parents. He was a very adept and very smart guy. And in 1872, he got a job working for a local railroad. He managed to work in an understanding of both mechanical as well as the rudiments of what will later become electrical engineering. By the early 1880s, he's left the railroads and he's worked going off to become an independent inventor. Woods is going to have a variety of patents for a number of different kinds of things. His most famous single invention is the multiplex telegraph. The problem that railroads had in those days was that they didn't have a way to easily communicate one with another. 
So if you were driving a train along at 50 mile an hour, you had no way of knowing if there was a stopped train right around that bend. What this meant is that there are a lot of train accidents. One of the things that Woods comes up with is a telegraph system that permits messages on a moving train to basically be transmitted wirelessly to a, a telegraph line running along the side of the train tracks. What this means is the trains can talk to each other. And so a lot of trains and lives are saved because of that particular invention. Woods by this time had moved to New York City with friends and relatives. He had set up the Woods Electric Company, and that company was quite successful all the way up until the time of Woods' death. Woods suffered a stroke in 1910. By the time he dies, he has more than 60 patents. He is still considered today by electrical engineering organizations, university engineering departments, to be one of the most creative and prolific inventors in America, regardless of race. There you have it, Glenville Wood made with your first wireless uh, communication and then black excellence. This is your black history spotlight. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. This is Black Titanic.